Hey, how's it going, guys? My name is Refrox, and today we're going to be reviewing the Marvel Diamond Select Thanos from Endgame, a Disney Store exclusive. This is looking fantastic. Still in the packaging, and it's looking really great. You get the Thanos here, you get the Avengers Endgame right there. Very cool, very cool. You get uh, the logo here, you get the Avengers logo, you get some stuff in the back. Some uh, product art of there, really cool, really nice. Nothing at the bottom, nothing at the top, nor this side. And let's get this figure out of the packaging. And here he is out of the packaging. This figure is looking fantastic. This figure is feeling fantastic. It's really great. Let's check out the accessories that it comes with before we look into the figure. Only accessories he comes with is the gauntlet right here. It's looking really nice. The paint job on this is fantastic. Like, holy Christ. Yeah, there's a little bit of chipping there. Uh, I can fix that. It is looking really great. Uh, the hinges here, or a little swivel here, and then a hinge up. Up and down. Come on. Uh, I don't want to go any further because it exposes the paint down there. Some sloppy uh, craftsmanship. Uh, yeah, it's looking pretty nice. You can just uh, pop Thanos's beefy fucking arm off. Jesus. And then just plug it in here. That is looking really good. Love the colors on it. Love the contrast between that. He also comes with this sword. It is horrendous. This is god awful. This is nowhere accurate. Or somewhat. The only thing that's kind of accurate is the blade. But even they fucked it up. They fucked up the blade as well. And the handle. That is not how the handle looks. This thing is tiny. This side is tiny compared to this. I don't get how that works. It's pretty disappointing. Just for the accuracy, it's disappointing. But for the paint job, it's not bad. I love the weathering on there. The little slight battle damages. It's really nice. It's nice, but it sucks. And this figure is looking... Oh, fuck. I didn't mention this, but... Uh, I have some allergies right now, and I can't fucking... <laughs> breathe correctly. Man, my eyes are getting watery, so I'm just trying to do this right. Ugh, sounds like I'm doing cocaine or something. Okay, this figure is looking really great. The gold is... Ah, oh, it's perfection. Perfection at its finest. I love the gold. I love it so fucking much. It's so fucking good. This is looking so great. Look at all this detail within the gold uh, armor. You know, damage, damages. Slight little form of rust. It's looking great all around the detail doesn't stop with the sculpting and the painting and everything i love how it has like a nice weather look uh but one thing i'm not a fan of um why are the boots black the boots aren't black the boots are gold but you know i can paint that i'll paint there i'll paint it and another weird complaint that i have is that the gold on the helmet is completely different from the gold from the suit. On camera, it looks more orange. An orange-brownish. On In person, it looks a lot more dull and bronze and like gold or brass. But the skin tone looks more gray than purple. What in the hell? And also... The eye on this one is a little bit fucking stupid. It's a little retarded. Focus. One of the eyes doesn't even have the pupil in there put in correctly. And he's looking to the side. But mm, let's get that out of the way and check out the figure's posability. He can look up. He can look up that far. Not that much. He can look down that far. That's really great. 
he gets uh, head tilted because this is on a double ball peg, which is great. But it's just a helmet in the back, the way it's designed, won't allow him to look further up. His arms can move out <coughs> that much due to the armor plate. So, due to the armor plate again, he won't be able to move that much back nor that much forward. He does have a bicep cut, which is amazing. A lot of the Thanos figures don't really have a bicep cut like that, especially the armored ones. And not only there, you also get it here. Uh, hinges, only one hinge, moves uh, 90 degrees. He can also move back over here. He has, his wrist can move up and down, and they're on a swivel, really cool. Thanos has a diaphragm joint, so you can turn side to side. He has some tiltage, very little. He can crunch forward that much, and he can arc back that much. Uh, there's no way swivel down there. He can kick out that far, move back that far. He has an amazing spread. Whoo, damn! He has a thigh cut, double jointed knees that are really, really st stiff. Holy Christ. Come on. Yep. <clears throat> there we go. Really, really stiff joints. I like it. Thanos is supposed to be a strong boy. His ankles. <laughs> I should get him out of that. His ankles can move up and down, and they're on a pivot. But there's no ankle swivel. <coughs> this figure is coming around. Fucking line about this. Just slightly above nine inches. It doesn't show it on camera, but it really is. Now time for some size comparisons. Starting off with the only diamond select figures that I own at the moment. John Wick. Spider-Man from the Amazing Spider-Man 2. And now time for some Marvel Legends. Mark 85 Iron Man. Worthy Captain America. Thor, Thanos from Marvel Legends, and Jesus Christ, look at the difference between the purples and the goddamn height. That is, whoa, just, just wow, wow. And Donald Duck. And there's my review for the Marvel Diamond Select Endgame Thanos. This figure is fucking fantastic. It's so good. I wish they did a little better on the boots. I wish they also worked on the purple. On camera, it looks great. On in person, it also looks great. Just a hint of purple. I'll give this figure a 9 out of 10. Really great. And I'll catch you guys next time. You got to swing, but you got to save your soul.